Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will demonstrate how to create a portfolio in Clarity PPM. A portfolio is a logical grouping of investments or projects we can use to plan and schedule work over a specified period of time. We will focus on how to set up a portfolio by adding investments, creating scenario plans, and inputting target constraints. First, let's look at how to create a portfolio. This is my portfolio list page. I can see a list of different portfolios in my Clarity system. To create a new portfolio, click on the New button. Here I can fill out the general information including name, ID, start and finish dates, and dashboard view. I can also enter target information like capital and operating cost, the sum of which will result in the total cost. I can enter expected benefits in dollars and roles. I can also choose whether to view capacity as hours or by FTEs. When I'm ready, I can click Save. For the sake of this video, I'll continue with the portfolio that is already built out and show how it became that way. First, I can create a sync schedule. This will allow the portfolio investments, that is projects and ideas, to be synced on a scheduled basis or manually. The Contents Editor is where I can add investments to the portfolio. I can add investments manually, or I can create a filter to add investments based on certain conditions. For example, this filter adds all of the active projects from the Business Technologies Department. After my filters are in place, I can choose to Sync Now. This will update my portfolio with the most recent information from my investments. The Investments tab shows the details of each project and idea I've added to the portfolio. I can configure additional columns to this view as well. The Plans tab is where I can create what-if scenario plans. I can click New to create a new plan from scratch, or I can click Copy to copy the details of an existing plan. I can also save changes, delete a plan, or choose a plan to set as my plan of record. I can enter new target information for each scenario plan. Here I can break down my costs and roll capacity by month. I can also enter this by day, week, quarter, or year. I can build out my targets for each of my scenario plans. The Waterlines view has a list of ranked projects with key information like start and finish date, planned cost, broken out by capital and operating cost, roll demand, and risk score. I have a timeline view that I can use to visualize and modify the schedule of work. I also have real-time constraints built in to understand how my portfolio is tracking to the targets I entered and the impact of adding or modifying projects in scope. The line in the middle of the screen is called a waterline. This line separates my planned work from my wish list. Everything above the waterline are projects we have the budget, people, and time to work on, while everything below the waterline are projects we would like to do, but again, we are short on either budget, people, or time. We can prioritize this list by manually dragging projects to their appropriate rank. We can adjust the waterline to add the next project in the rank order to the planned work. This allows me to see the instant impact to my constraints. As I add online order catalog, my planned capital cost, architect, and developer constraints are exceeded. The scorecard tab shows a good heat map based on project risk and aligns each project based on its business alignment score, finish date, and plan cost. The analysis tab shows four graph portlets that break down different project data by goal. The Capacity tab gives a summary of each investment's capacity and a breakdown of capacity across portfolio by role. Portfolio information is used in several dashboards and reports and Clarity. In this video, we have shown how to create portfolios in Clarity PPM. We focused on how to set up a portfolio by adding investments, creating scenario plans, and inputting target constraints. You can find more videos demonstrating how to perform other functionalities of Clarity PPM on our website. 